Hello, Mr. Brown here, your science teacher. Today, join me as we look at my top 10 craziest events of World War II. But I gotta warn you, if you've never studied World War II before, this is the craziest, most insane, out of control, deadliest conflict ever on the face of the planet. Millions of people died in this war. Millions and millions and millions and millions. So what was World War II? Here it is real basically. So Nazi Germany over here and the Empire of Japan over here decided to take over the world. And it was up to all the other countries to stop them. The main players were Germany, Italy, and Japan, and they wanted to take over the world. And so the United Kingdom, the USA, France, and the Soviet Union formed armies to stop them. And they had a six year, out of control, terrible world war. These are my top 10 craziest things that happened during that war. Number 10, happened right here in America. If you were of Japanese ancestry, you were rounded up by the military and put in prison camps. Now, remember, these camps were found all over America. This is where the Japanese people living in America were held for the duration of the war. These are American citizens. Yeah, that's real barbed wire. Now, once they were in the camps, they were pretty much allowed to go about their daily lives, but you can't leave. The guys in these guard towers have been instructed to shoot to kill. It's hard to imagine that these children were considered enemies of the United States of America. That's crazy. What's crazier is number nine, the tank battle at Kursk. So what happened is Adolf Hitler decided to invade Russia. The Russians said, I don't think so. And they fought back. And Kursk was the site of the biggest tank battle in the history of the planet. 9,000 tanks met in combat. And for several weeks, it was the most out of control, insane warfare you could possibly imagine. These paintings here try to depict what it was like as far as the eye could see burning tanks and fighting military people. It was madness. It was so intense that even today it inspires modern video games. Number eight the Japanese kamikaze suicide pilots. These pilots for the Japanese Air Force are having a cup of tea, but this will be the last tea they ever drink. They are about to get into their planes, loaded with explosives, and drive their planes into American ships. They're going to kill themselves. They are suicide pilots. As they approach the American ships, the Americans would try to shoot them down. You can see all the machine gun fire here splashing in the oceans. And most of these guys were shot down, but not all of them. A couple of these kamikazes made it through. Here you can see one smashing into an American ship. The Americans were horrified. They had never seen anything this crazy. These young men were willing to kill themselves. And many ships in the American fleet were damaged by these suicidal kamikaze pilots. That's crazy. Number seven, the Hitler Youth. Here you can see Hitler with one of the Hitler Youth. The, this was an organization which groomed young boys to become Nazis. Here you can see the young boys giving their leader the famous one-handed salute. These boys would grow up to become Nazis. They kind of look like Boy Scouts, but these are not Boy Scouts. These are young Nazis in the making. 
the Hitler Youth. At the end of the war, Berlin was in collapse. It was almost getting ready to be invaded by the Russians. Hitler didn't have any soldiers left, so he called up the Hitler Youth to defend the city. These young boys were massacred. Almost all of them were killed. That's crazy. Number six, Werner von Braun, the Nazi rocket man. You see him right here wearing a nice suit. This Nazi designed the V2 rocket. 1,000 of these death machines were fired at England during the war. These were the most advanced rockets on Earth. He got captured by the Americans. Here you can see him in, uh, with a cast on his arm and given a choice. A, you either build rockets for the Americans or B, you die. Wisely, he chose A and he got a job at the new organization called NASA. Von Braun used his brilliance and said, hey, you remember those V2 rockets that I made uh, back during the war? Why don't we just make them really big? Put a guy in there and shoot him at the moon. That's exactly what they did. The V, uh, the Saturn V rocket made it to the moon. That's crazy. Neil Armstrong got to the moon by riding on a Nazi designed rocket. You thought that was crazy. Number five, the most out of control secret plan in the history of the world was the Manhattan Project. Thousands of people working across the country to design the first nuclear weapon. It was top secret. Spies were everywhere and workers were reminded to keep your mouth shut. Eventually, they succeeded. Here you see a shot of Little Boy, the first weaponized nuclear bomb. They put it on a plane. They flew over to Japan and they dropped it on the city of Hiroshima. This is an actual photo from that day. It was awful. That bomb went off and just destroyed the city. It was horrendous. Thousands of men, women, and children were horribly killed. That's crazy. Number four, Hitler and his buddies had a plan. They were going to take everyone who disagreed with them and put them into death camps. And that's exactly what they did. Over the course of the war, they ended up killing over 6 million people. Here you can see a couple of the guys starving in these camps. It was the worst crime in the history of the world. It's known today as the Holocaust. Here is a picture of what it was like to be in one of those death camps. When, the, when they died, the Nazis would try to cover up the evidence by burning the bodies in ovens. To make matters worse, these death camps were located all over Europe and operated for the duration of the war. That's crazy. That's evil. And these guys are war criminals and they need to be brought to justice. And that's exactly what happened. After the war, we rounded them up and we put them on trial. These are Nazis on trial for their horrendous crimes. Slowly throughout the weeks, all the evidence was laid out of these death camps. And one by one, these Nazis were found guilty. Either they killed themselves or they were taken out back and hung. These Nazis needed to be stopped and brought to justice. But here's the crazier part. Some of these guys escaped and made it to South America. We got to get these guys. Enemy number one was Adolf Eichmann. This guy organized the Holocaust, sending millions of Jews to their deaths. The Jewish people organized hunters that would hunt the entire world for this guy. For 15 years, they looked everywhere on the planet and then they found him. In 1960, Eichmann was captured, brought back to Israel. He stood trial, he was found guilty and they killed him. This guy 
Joseph Mengele was known as the Angel of Death. He escaped at the end of the war. He was guilty of killing hundreds of children by doing horrible medical experimentation. This guy needed to be brought to justice. And the crazy thing is, they never caught him. He got away and died in 1979. That's crazy. Number two. At the end of the war, the Japanese had had enough. Here they are showing up to surrender. On the USS Missouri battleship, they signed the papers ending World War II. But they still had guys all over the Pacific on these islands way out there. They had to let all these soldiers know, hey, the war is over, you guys. Pack up and go home. One guy didn't get the message. Hiro Onada was a Japanese soldier in on the island of the Philippines that kept on fighting and fighting for years after the war ended. He attacked local fishermen, he was attacking local farmers, local police, until finally they went and got his original commander from World War II to fly to the island, and he came out of the jungles and surrendered in 1974. Here's a picture of him giving up his sword 29 years after the war had ended. That's crazy. But I've saved the most craziest story for the end. Number one, Nazism still survives today. Of all the horrible, evil, terrible things the Nazis did, you can still see their symbolism show up 75 years later. There are rallies across the United States where you'll see people doing that old one-handed salute like you saw them back in World War II. This stuff happens today in America. And the craziest photo I have today is this one right here. This isn't from World War II. This photo was taken in Madison, Wisconsin, 2006. That's crazy. Thank you for joining me today on my top 10 craziest events of World War II. If you don't believe me, go to your library and look this stuff up. You'll see. Bye for now.